real substance. What's the thing? Yeah. <laughs> And then... All right, team. We like to start like we do every week by inviting you to check out Caddyshack of New Hamill, Illinois. That's Caddyshack IL on Facebook. They have a tab on my very own website, jacobv.com. Support them. 100% family owned and operated cat rescue right here in the greater St. Louis area. I was just in the studio today with no antics, already following it up. Uh, last we talked, we were just hot off of a uh, LP release at the Off-Broadway. And uh, already putting more in the can. Content in the caboodle. Now, blinded by stereo.bandcamp.com is the only place to get currently my only vinyl record of my career to date that's too much of that anyway patreon.com slash jacob v we've had a very busy week on patreon.com We've had a very busy week on Patreon.com slash Jacob V. We're posting every day new exclusive clips and content every day this week. Patreon.com slash Jacob V. Uh, Cameron is here. Hello. Cameroon. Yeah, right there. Love of my life. Fruit of my loins. Uh, your phone lit up when I said that. Is that how you address your phone? Apparently. That's how you unlock it. The the voice passcode is the more you addressed it, the more <laughs> fruit <laughs> of my loins. If it lights up again, I'm leaving. Uh, oh my god, did you see that demon on TikTok? I saw a lady, uh some Spanish speaking country, and she was possessed by Satan. I swear to God, she was in the closet. It was not and they had to put a ladder. Oh, so uh, Cameron is one of uh, many uh, proprietors of the uh, the Blue Wood Brewery, where I do my free trivia every Thursday. And we actually have members of that trivia game who play every week, who uh, listen to this show. So hello to all of you. We're all here. Um, I can't believe we've never been, we've never done one of these to talk about that. You were, a, you know what it is though, during the pandemonium, you were a real hermit. <laughs> you were yeah you were very much like listen i'm already dying so i can't be around people because i'll die and i said yeah yeah um we might as well get this out of the way before we get into anything uh we have a whole list here of just since the last show um rips first and foremost closest to my heart dj casper originator of the cha-cha slide and the cha-cha slide is my favorite way to start every day of summer camp is I do 15 minutes of the cha-cha slide. I do the fast version, the normal speed, and then they, he did a slow one with reverb. And after about that, it's about 16 minutes of straight cha-cha slide to start your day. So RIP to the left. Uh, Tony Bennett finally, finally rose to the kingdom of heaven. Let that man go to bed. Sinead O'Connor, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. How do you feel about Sinead O'Connor dying? I mean, bummer. Have to be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so many reasons. I mean, yeah. couple of the best performances ever. Yeah. And, you know, and she just struggled so much. She had a kid. She lost a kid to Irish, suicide yeah. last year. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> suffering indeed. Uh, RIP to Beetle Bob. Yeah. Beetle Bob came to a band I was in called Battle Stag, did their first ever show ever, and it was at the Way Out Club, and I guess there were hardly any shows in town that night, so Beetle Bob came to that one. <laughs> so he went to, what, thousands of shows in a row, yeah. and yeah. I helped him maintain his streak that whole evening. He stayed for the whole show, and we didn't have any merch to sell him <laughs> or for him to steal. And uh, R.I.P., 
Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman died since the last episode of this show. Jesus. I would have a I would have an episode with you that's all RIPs. Oh no. We don't do this every week. There's usually maybe one. Oh. So I'm the bringer of that. Yeah, this is your <laughs> fault. We were waiting to rack them up so you could get in here. Angus Cloud from Euphoria. Weird, my dead at 24. We thought Lil Tay was dead. Turns out that was a hoax. Probably propagated by her parents for some unknown reason. So Lil Tay's still alive. I don't know which would have been the more tragic news. They closed the King and I here. Or they're closing it on the 30th here in St. Louis. Legendary Thai restaurant on South Grand. Shutting it down because chicken is too expensive, I bet. That's what those guys always complain about. Anytime I go into a like multi generational, you know, like uh, immigrant founded, you know, uh, ethnic food restaurant, usually if I have any kind of conversation with people that are in charge of anything, I always hear about the price of chicken specifically. Yeah. Usually a world. I think you, yeah, I think you go through. I think that should just be the currency. I'm spending most of my money on chicken anyway, especially now that I don't drink anymore. You're talking the physical live bird. Or I don't want to deal in live birds. Yeah, where? where but the start? the real flat line should be the price of the chicken. Yeah, the fair. chicken standard, the fowl standard. Um, chicken's high. You know what I mean. Chicken is high. Do you eat a lot of beef? Seller's market. For chicken. What did you eat today? Me. Yeah. Me? Uh, what did I eat? What did you eat today? Oh, I ate some leftover pizza from yesterday. That's about it. Where from? From from me. You made it yourself? Yeah. Lovingly from scratch? Oh, well, not entirely. No, the dough was like a pre-made dough. But yeah, it was uh, actually one of my Instagram stories that I just shared. It was a uh, duck breast prosciutto. Pistachio. Duck breast prosciutto. Yeah, slice it up and uh, you sliced some it up. Capicola. What is that? Capicola. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's like pork. It's like sliced pork. You but know, which, which, But which <laughs> one though? Because there's one of them that's really bologna like, and I don't like. No, that no, no, one. no. Bologna is emulsified. Uh, Capicola is a whole muscle, so it's like it's the muscle cured, and then you slice it. So you see like oh the, no, that I like the marbling and stuff. Like yeah, the prosciutto. It's yeah, yeah, but it's a different part. It's the copa muscle, so it's gabagool. You you know, mm. like the soprano jokes and yeah, all that. Yeah, but shit. there's one of those meats with those Italian names that looks and kind of tastes like bologna, and I don't like it. Um, mortadella, probably. Yeah, that usually has pistachios in it too. But I think mortadella. Mm. I'm a little, a little more open to it now that I find out there's pistachios. Could be, could be. You're saying you don't know if there's pistachios? I don't know if it's like chili where you're supposed to make it without beans, but if you add beans, it makes it not technically chili mm-hmm. or something. Or maybe it's just chili with beans. I don't know. Yeah. We've ordered new cameras for the show oh. since our last episode. Our last episode, we had to just use this camera that's pointed at you right now. And as you can tell, it's not the best so one in the see house. My- Devil so, red eyes from everywhere. I had an upright base down here that I've literally never used and I rescued and got for free. So I found a, a buyer for that and I immediately turned around and bought cameras. So uh, praise God. Um, high fidelity coming soon. Um, this is, uh, which one is this? This looks like Dr. King Schultz. He's been all over me. Hans is probably hiding under the staircase right now. Look at look at him, look at him looking at the thing. That's that's no. Here he goes. He's gonna flex his anus. That's what he always does. <laughs> See? Oh, look at him. He's precious. Uh 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 uh. Um. Mac DeMarco dumped a bunch of material this summer and acted like he was retiring, but then kind of backpedaled a little bit. I guess he'll he'll do things for money still, but. I, I don't know exactly what his vibe is. Check on him. Can't hear Cam on YouTube. Much better. Thank you so much. That looks like Joe. It could be Joe. It could be Jeff. I don't know. In the comments. We are live. And you can always text the show live at 314-626-4208. Cameron Maui is burning. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I mean, do you know anything about this? 
I mean, just the extent of the fire is supposed to be insane. And uh, oh, good. I'm sure, a lot of things are being mishandled locally there. So, well, that seems a little insensitive of you to say. <laughs> Why? Why do you think that? I mean, as much as it's been in the news, there hasn't been a lot of good news about it, and I really don't. I'm pretty ignorant to the whole. What would thing, you do if you were the executive director of FEMA? Day one in Maui, what would you do? It is Jeff. Hello, Jeff. I recognize that's somebody's Gmail, and I couldn't remember. See, that's how good I am. I remember people's bullshit Gmails from 100 years ago. Cameron, <laughs> Maui, how did the fire start? I actually don't know. I don't know. Cameron, it's probably a You are just like my brother. What? No, that's what he does, too. He'll be like, yeah, we should definitely talk about Maui. And then he'll get here, and I'll be like, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I'm not lying. Um, it was a. It looked similar. It's a wildfire situation. Mm-hmm. It looks similar to the situation in Canada earlier this year, where if you look at the satellite imagery, uh, they were saying it could have started from lightning, but it also looked like there were several points of origin, seemingly simultaneously. Um, w- not to indicate anything nefarious necessarily. That's just kind of the satellite feed I saw of the Canadian fires was similar. Are you actually looking it up? Yeah, I just Clay would see. refuse to look it up. That's top, the thing. No, no, the top five facts to know about Maui's deadliest wildfire. Oh, see, you're so, so good quick, at this. Is that because you're an Android guy? I guess maybe. You guys are more inquisitive, maybe. Perhaps. My phone hasn't chosen hasn't chosen to force that information on me yet, so that's what happens. Look, it's king. So, so no, 20, it's Hans. Twenty two hundred structures are gone. Twenty two hundred structures liquefied in flames. Oh my god! One of these facts is literally. <laughs> It is not the right time to visit Maui. That's pretty bad. Who let this to print? <laughs> no, no, no. That's good to know because somebody's still trying to go. Yeah. Somebody is still on the yeah. phone. Me. I'm I remember like, the oh, week. Yeah, I remember the week Maui. before COVID. This lady I worked with was trying to go to Spain. She said, "Yeah, we shouldn't go, but she really wants to go." Yeah. I don't think they ended up going. Oh. Because it was you know COVID. Yeah. COVID, COVID, COVID. There was that one time that COVID was. Yeah. Yeah. And you could, you know, say it with your chest. Um, so Maui's all fucked up. Did you, have you been following Sexy Red? Myself, no. Yeah, she's no. the, um, she's the. Who we got? She's a very uh, popular uh, mistress of rap, raptress. Okay. What so do you, what's the lady form of rapper? Did she perform at uh, one of the Hazelwood MLS High games? School. Oh, no, maybe. more recently at the stage outside the stadium. Well, this our article was from July 20th, so a month ago, was an uproar. She's 25. She's from here. She went to Hazelwood Central High School, I believe, and she performed there. But she's the one whose song is like My Booty Hole Brown. Oh, yeah. That's her. Great. So she's yeah. from here. And she, the MLS game, though, what happened? She did that, too? No, no, no thankfully, no. But uh, we, I did, I guess, see her. I knew of her, but, I, like, only vaguely. So uh, what? what's the big deal right now? Well, her music's a, a, a graphically sexual in a way that I guess is challenging for the adults that try to include her in uh, events that include their children. Seems fair, right? Well, I, you know... We told you guys this would happen. We told you guys that if you continue down the path that we've been on, that your kids are going to start singing crazy shit at home. It's like in um, the campaign. Yeah. With Will Ferrell over there at dinner, and they say, put your AirPods in. And they're listening to, like, trap shit. And they're yep. like these little private school kids listening to real trap shit. Oh, and um, so movie. this is what happens. I mean, you get 100 Gex and... My booty hole brown. What's her name? Big Sexy is the chain she's always wearing. So I always think that's her name, but her name's Sexy Red. My booty hole brown. So this is probably not who I saw at the MLS stadium then. I don't I, know. I who wish it was. was. You don't know this. You don't, she was probably a former student of mine somewhere. You don't know the. You don't know You're this woman. Not. I love her. No. I love her. She's the future, and uh, she knows who she is. And the song slap Pound Town just left Pound Town. You don't know that song? No, no. no Did you no. see this? Hank the Tank, a black bear who invaded 21 homes, has finally been captured. Oh yeah, I'm kept up by bear culture with uh. You stay up Jerry's with the bears. Lo- oh this yeah, is the perfect- Jerry force feeds. Will you it look down at this throat. absolute unit of a bear though? That's a yeah. Will you look at? Lots I can put this up. 
I could put this up here. I think they call that uh, gorging. He's engorged. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that's actually right. any better. But. I mean, that could be like a really, really bad beehive encounter. <laughs> yeah, he could just be swollen. He's definitely retaining fluids. Hank the Tank. Um, have you been following the disclosure on the UAPs? Uh, yeah. yeah so Talk I'm, to me about the UAPs, Cameron. I think this is really cool to see. Uh, I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah, it couldn't no. have happened to a least deserving generation of people. Eh. Well, I think we're so desensitized by literally everything that, yeah, That's like, we're not thing. impressed by this anymore. Things are too bad for us to <clears throat> respond to the aliens. No, it's... Until somebody tells me that they don't need money from me, that they act like they always need, I can't care about the aliens. I'm busy. Yeah, I think it's... When U.S. Bank says... Hey, we're gonna go woke, like work on the alien thing. Woke. You guys don't worry about money for a minute. I can't really worry about money. Hmm. I mean, I can't really worry about the aliens because I'm worried about the money. Is that a waste of time? Should I just go live under a bridge and focus all my time on the aliens? You've w- lived under a bridge at least once. I've definitely slept under bridges. Okay, okay. I've woken up under a bridge. That's a compromise. Um, thank God I woke up under the bridge because some people they go under the bridge and they don't wake up. And I've always said that. Wow. I've always worried about that for the future. I mean, the way you said it, yeah. <laughs> what do I do with my notes? I don't like these over here. They're coming back over here. We got mo- we moved the desk around. We're changing scenery. We're going to start doing live streams down here again. I'm just going to take everything that's in this room to my left and throw it away. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Everything that's behind Cameroon. Uh, only one of those KRK speakers back there works. So what are you going to do? Um, but no, so I'm gonna sell it. Um, Congress paying attention to openly um, UFOs and UAPs and, and extraterrestrial life, sort of in a public way for the first time. Um, and uh, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I think we're cool with it. Yeah, some if of it, us are just pretty underwhelmed. Well. I feel like we're doing it with the energy that, like, when you try to, like, if you are raised by a single mother and you try to sneak a sleepover on her. Okay, yeah. It's like, (laughs) oh, so the aliens are sleeping over. Yeah. What are the aliens going to (laughs) eat? You guys want to tell me these aliens are here. Who, who's paying for the aliens? We've been paying the whole time, probably. You think we're paying for the... That's why the defense budget is the way it is? They've been extorting us. Oh, <gasps> you mean just the numbers What being- if that was 9-11? Remember they always talk about the day before 9-11 that they were all like, hey, there's all this money missing? What if we, what if we got extorted by the aliens? We gave them all this money out of the defense budget. And then because people were like, hey, what about the money? We fucking... Is that true? One day after? No, like- it was like right before. You don't know this? You well, no, no, no. I, I know. So the conspir- I know the conspiracy. That's like one of the few that I'm like, <laughs> whoa, okay. Yeah, there was like a. <clears throat> I mean, not that I truly believe and it. But. That's the whole thing. Is that they people are saying that the plane that hit the Pentagon hit the area of the Pentagon that would have affected records and related that's to been that issue. Yeah, and that's been said for years that the Pentagon one was always really sketchy. Mm-hmm. Like the video wasn't clear. There's some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, some people look at the video and like you can't even tell if it's a plane. Oh, it's been conspiracy fuel for, sure. you know. And I'm not here to do all that. Nope. There's plenty of that. That's a different um, case. <laughs> but if the aliens have been extorting cash from the US government for decades and we needed to make it go away, Yeah. So, moving on. More important news. Uh, Chris Christie gifts Volodymyr Zelensky a handwritten handwritten lyrics to Bon Jovi's It's My Life as that, inspiration. That was not an Onion article. That's, that's real. A re- that's, oh from, sir, that's from the New York Post. Yeah, but it, I, sometimes people Photoshop shit. You think that's Photoshopped? No, no, no. I just can't believe this is real. I thought I checked it. Let's check. Yeah, look at, look at us. How do you spell Christy? Uh, Chris Christie? I think it is another C-H. I thought it was because Chris Christie's from New Jersey and Bon Jovi's from New Jersey. (laughs) 
There's no shot. Okay, so Chris Christie definitely met with Zelensky. Yeah. We should be fact-checking this shit up front. <laughs> well, I thought I had fact-checked this already. <clears throat> now we're just gaslighting ourselves. Okay, if there's nothing in here about Bon Jovi... I thought I got that from the New York Post on Twitter. Here's oh, the, here's the you picture. got something from Twitter and you just here's automatically... The, listen, if it's on Twitter and it's not gay pornography, I'm convinced it's real because that's mostly what Twitter is now. Sorry, I guess it's a good thing I yeah. got rid of It's X now, okay. right? So, definitely. That definitely happened. Here's my thing. Huh. If Chris Christie didn't give Zelensky handwritten lyrics to a Bon Jovi song, he should have. I mean, why is Chris Christie meeting with Volodymyr Zelensky? Why is Chris Christie still alive? <laughs> Look at him. He shouldn't be. I'm barely hanging on, and I've made real progress. He shows no remorse. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. And I don't even like New Jersey. Well, not a lot of people from New Jersey don't. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people in New Jersey don't like New Jersey. That's true. I shouldn't even say anything. It's not my place to speak of. This has been a theme at trivia lately. Is um, you know, there's only one group of people that I've really struggled to maintain tolerance for. And do you know who that is? No, I don't. The English. Oh. 1776 already happened. Yeah. We settled that one, G. I don't need him coming up in here, calling shit by different names, asking for leaders of things. Yeah, leaders scare me, too. They want to come in here. No, no. That was not an invitation. <laughs> um, okay, so you think the Bon Jovi part of that was added? But I don't know. Do I care? I'm just surprised that you didn't find the answer already. Well, I found the article, that picture and that headliner from, well, most of that headliner from, I believe somebody added the, <laughs> it's, I wouldn't have even, you know, this is the problem with doing the show with Clay, is Clay would just be like, oh, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> I didn't even think to look further into it. Um, Can't be wrong. It can't be. It, when it feels so right. Everybody's wrong these days. We gotta be that first Everybody. real integrity. And I've always said that. Um speaking of um what's going on in the beer world? Oh man. So so much for the macro people. So much for other people, you're saying. <clears throat> well like the uh well obviously the A B stuff. You're you're finally seeing like marketing be like a huge thing in a really apparent sense like some sudden abrupt news in the beer world um because of something like that like founders for instance and i really shouldn't say a whole lot there are a couple other breweries out there that have their own little fiascos and whatnot and the budweiser or the bud light thing is kind of interesting because oh trust me i couldn't hear the end of it yesterday somebody yeah. gifted a case of bud light to the pool of beers for the pool party yesterday for my grandmother's 80th and uh, oh. uh, one of my uncles could not could not interact with a Bud Light without saying something about it. Yeah, well, that's Which a very is uncle thing to do. Yeah. That's so uncle. And you know what? And we were in the, the People's Republic of Illinois. So I'm just grateful they didn't execute anybody. Well, I didn't know that was usually on the agenda. Oh, sh in Illinois? Absolutely. They hang uh, heretics at noon every day. Is that because of the budget? Mostly for the budget. They okay. can't feed all those people. Holy and, shit. And so if sense. you run your mouth, you're going to get strung up. Which I'm not for, but I I also get. Bro, that got dark as hell. Well, I just get it. <laughs> it's just that I get it. I don't want it. I don't like it. But I get I do get it. Yeah. Uh Why Do people make beer? Uh, Why isn't everything just White Claw now? I mean, it could be. I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, how many? They're types actually of, on the decline, I believe. The White Claws. Well, just White the Claw seltzers. makes their own spirits now. 
Yeah, a lot of people are starting to do that. You can make, what's that about? Why would you convert your business into that? Um, it's probably not converting or com- complete conversion. Like, for instance, to make those things, you have to have a distilled product, which usually requires making beer or, you know, working with, like, grain-neutral spirits. So grain-neutral spirits is as cheap as it comes. Really? Why? Yeah. Uh, because it is what it is. It's purely just alcohol. Um, and it's it's like your, uh, what's the one uh, from St. Louis here, bottled here? Uh, Everclear. Everclear. Where it's just, like, you know, 98% alcohol mm-hmm. or whatever. That's from here? Uh, I think it's at least bottled in St. Louis or distilled here. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think Everclear is. And that stuff's not to be fucked with. <laughs> not to fuck with. We use it for extracts and stuff sometimes. Like what, vanilla? Yeah, you could do vanilla. We do... I mean, pretty much. We'll try anything, so that's just different um, depending on what the composition of. You the, ever thought about doing an ice cream? <laughs> I mean, we're essentially making a hot ice cream. At the, what if we made a cold one? So ice cream? Yeah. What if we made an ice cream? <laughs> we could try that, but I think it would be uh, <coughs> not great. <laughs> yeah, you got to reduce a beer down to like a syrup. For, oh yeah, I mean you could. It would get pretty tannic and shitty, but what? Yeah, I've done some reductions that don't work so great, but others do. So it becomes savory. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's well. The it, ice cream it is, is sweet, sweet still, but I think some of it's just the Maillard reaction as you're doing it. For I was just about to say it's probably the Maillard. Yeah, reaction. Oh come on, you know what that is? Yeah. Oh, I'm hip. Yeah, I'm I hip. am hip. I've Daddy-o. seen your. I've seen your steak sears. You know what's up? Yeah, I know how to sear a steak. I'll tell you one thing. That's really all I do to it. I do them Pittsburgh style. Oh, hell yeah. Black and blue. You know what I mean? Is that... What is Florentine? Is Florentine like that? No. What is Florentine? You want me to look it up? Oh, I I thought you knew with that definitive answer. No. (laughs) No, it's not. Maybe it is. You like blue rare, then. You're right. Yeah, I'm pretty close to it, yeah. If you serve me a blue rare steak, I would not be upset, especially if it were at like something like Twisted Tree. Right? I'd be like, yeah, I know this has been. Treated. Oh, I went there for my father's birthday. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I wanted to hate it. I want to have that guy on the show. Uh, the the Cyborgs owner? guy. Oh, yeah, that Cyborg Zone. Uh huh. I did not know that. Yeah, that makes sense. Though. Yeah, yeah, and um, even the buildings. The he's same. a really charismatic guy, and uh, and I love that sauce. I just had to throw some of it away because the. The refrigerator half of my refrigerator is broken that's where we've been guys things are fucking awful in the fucking world i just did hey the ufos we got that we but we're getting they're going to tell us about the ufos and cannabis is legal so it's just like district nine it's just like it. wait a second and all this starts happening as people are legalizing stuff uh-huh it's almost like the aliens care about that yeah, the aliens like money and cannabis. Is that our, like, you know, where the aliens finally decide to visit us? They're like, they did it, is when they start legalizing marijuana. They're like, that's the cusp cannabis, of humanity. <laughs> that's what was keeping them away this whole time. I was like, guys, we blow too much gas to come to you guys. were putting people in jail in 2009 <laughs> for gas. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. If the, if the aliens were just fucking blowing clouds, bro. Oh, what a square planet. What was I looking up? Steak? Florentine. We should call the Cybergs guy right now. He's probably hammered drunk. That guy is loaded. I don't think he has to work too hard. Italian steak combined with specific makes it one of the most... Uh, uh, uh. High cut, including the bone. And we cooked on the embers of the grill. Oh. But it is served blue rare. Yeah. Maybe so. that's f- like true Florentine is like the caveman style yeah. where they just put On the coals, coals I think. Yeah. But just, just, it does look good. Yeah, my mom and my brother. But that's specifically supposed to be on the Italy. bone, I think. Oh, yeah, it's like supposed to be Bowen. the whole thing. The okay. Whole, the whole carcass. I think that's a porterhouse. Yeah, the whole shebang. That does look lovely. That's like what they do with that goddamn place where the dad, guy does the salt. Salt Bay, dude. Yeah. I don't know what his restaurants are called, but they, they'll do that. And then they'll, they'll like just like blue rare it. And then they'll like serve it on a hot plate with a little oil. Huh. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. a 500 degree ceramic plate. You know what Mac used to do with those dry aged cows is they had the um, the meat you could buy out of the market to like cook yourself. Yeah. You use that dry aged stuff with a little bit of garlic powder, olive oil, eat that tartare, 
It was oh, really? so good. I'm not a huge tartar guy. I didn't think I would be, and I tried it, and I was like, well, yeah. I like this. Yeah, we'll have to do that. We should do a food segment for the Patreon. You and I just had to throw away a bottle of the Pepper Works. Oh, no kidding. Just because my fridge has been broken, and it was like half. Oh, it's it's, uh, it's shelf-stable. But it had, I had, it had been open. I'd used like half of it. Oh, it's fine. Oh, well. I, I It's fermented. That's why we bring the pH. That's what I tried to tell my wife. But yeah, it, I mean, I'm not hurt by that. I'm surprised he still had it. Well, it's so hot. I would have got, usually I go through it quicker, but yeah, it was something that like if something was like really like creamy or what? something, it was perfect for like a, oh, I put it on like mac and cheese. Really? Uh, was that was, afterburner? Yeah, probably. That one was pretty intense. Yeah, that was pretty Jerry hot. said the same thing. I was like, yeah, fuck, my bad. It was pretty hot. <laughs> well, no, but you just start with a little of it. You can always add more. Yeah, of course. But when I use like Frank's, I could just. Oh, yeah. With all, you know, there are definitely like I got out of like the super, super hot stuff as like an obsession because, you know, you had that like weird toxic masculinity. I got to find the hottest. No, one. it's yeah. like that with IPAs, too, for a while. Like, yeah. You know that it was no, like for real. I understand. You can get the funkiest, gnarliest like most murder and i would beers. seek that shit out like uh i used to fucking you could get a pint and a slice at felix's for six dollars i had Happy to be Hour. there i haven't been there since covid i don't think but is that um, the heavy riff shares right a wall yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah. and um the citropolis yeah that's what undergone. was that article about that the other day? So, Citropolis is funny because they changed the beer style. It's still an IPA and stuff, but they changed it to like a hazy instead of like a, I think it was a Citra Pale Ale uh-huh. before. Um, but they had some issues with it, and they did some uh, different treatments of the dry hops with their yeast, and it converted it to like a New England style or like a hazy beer, and they've gone with it, and St. Louis has loved it. I mean, it's like one of the things that modern has really. Yeah, well, I used to drink the fuck out of them. Yeah, uh, Dewey's always had it. The yeah. one in Kirkwood. Yeah, it pairs nice with a pizza. Yeah. If you really need to just get away from your consciousness for a minute. Speaking of, if you haven't been to the modern's new tap room uh, over by was that the Science Center? Yeah. Oh, it is best kitchen that in a brewery. Really? Oh yeah, the it's pizza? phenomenal. They have a porchetta sandwich. That's that what is... the article was about. The, the, oh yeah, the, their pizza's the good. Well, I'll have to go over there. Uh, yeah. Matt from Blood by Stereo lives by there. Yeah, what's that? Kings Oak. Kings Oak. I think is what that corridor is. It's called. in between Hampton yeah. and Kings Highway on Oakland. Um, there's, uh, I don't know. I was worried about that whole area when they closed that Hardee's because Hardee's is some metric of the. But that Hardee's was like a block off of Hampton. It was like not a good. Nobody knew it was there. And there's another one. There's another one that closed uh, out by uh, Westport Plaza, too. Oh, fuck. No, that's that taco place now. Red Burrito? Or No, it was the one that was on, uh, I can't even think of the exit, at 364. Oh, no. Hmm. I don't know what the burrito Yeah, I don't know what's over there. I don't really like to go west of 270 if I can avoid it. Real quick, since we're on the subject of the... Do you know with Steak and Shake in St. Louis what exactly happened? We were trying to decide the other day, like why they all disappeared in that. I think the franchisees all started pulling out because they yeah. were selling the franchises to where you could get in on a Steak and Shake franchise for ten grand. That's insane. I know. <laughs> and so, I know people that were like teachers and guidance counselors and shit who went in with their cousins and shit, and they got like ten of them that all chipped in some money to. Oh own a steak and shake. I don't. That's know. honestly terrifying. Because like you remember when they gave us uh, Robin Hood the app, and they had all these people who had no idea how to run a business, let alone you know buy stock. Yeah. Just I just logged into my Robin Hood the other day. I thought I was doing really good, uh, but it turns out that was just the one day view. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, yeah, they um, really narrow it down. <laughs> yeah, and so if I go all time, oh yeah, I'm down thirty bucks. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to say 30 grand. No. I was like, damn, dude. No, I would have gotten out a long time. I have a whole share of Palantir. I thought I knew something. You have a share of something, and that's it? I have one share of Palantir. I have one share of ACB, which is okay. Aurora Cannabis, which is just taking a bath. And I got a share of Spectrum Pharmaceuticals. And uh, that's not tradable right now. Oh, um, I got 
seventeen percent of a share of uh, Assertio, and I don't even know what that is. Hmm. So you know, uh, this is just my co- this is just my quarantine um, Robin Hood wallet. Do you have at least one friend who's always been like, I had this, and then years later, I would have had this? Didn't one of our friends have Bitcoin? Uh, I know Joe Burge did. Well, and it's not he docks had- people's Bitcoin. I don't even know who that is. Oh, I don't even know. Yeah. But um, I've never heard of that name. So my brother had, and he won't probably hear this, so I won't break his heart. He had NVIDIA very early, mm-hmm. and NVIDIA took off. And he pulled out too early? Oh, yeah. But he, oh. said he made money, but man. He could have made a lot more uh, money. We're talking. Uh, we're on a NVIDIA what, device right now. Yeah, well over 60, or sorry, well over six figures. Yeah. So I try not to bring it up around him. But What do you mean he won't see this? This is the biggest podcast in town. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't even think he uses a computer. Who? My brother. What's he doing? I don't want to know. He's down in Austin. Really? Yeah. And I still haven't gotten to visit him. Oh, I'm not going Dude, down there. Dude, he is... Lo- what? You would love it. I would have to... I would have to... He would die because of the music overload, but... I would have to parachute... I get music overload every day. I play music all day today. What are I you know. talking about? I would have to parachute in. I couldn't sit in that traffic from the airport. You always said that you would never make it to downtown Vegas. You'd just die next to a dumpster on the outskirts. Well, you know, when I finally went to Vegas, I had quit drinking. Oh. I okay, so yeah, that was the yeah. I went to Vegas last How was year. That? that was great. Yeah, I fucking ate myself to death. I think my brother did shrooms in Vegas for a Billy Strange show. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> he said it was a little much. It's just too much walking in Vegas to be that strung out on anything. Huh. And cannabis is legal there, but you can't smoke it inside anywhere. And I had a rental car, and so I had to like. I, it was really hard. You know, I've never, ever stepped. In a casino. You want to go right now? No. Fuck no. Come on, baby. I'm tired. My back hurts. Let's go. We'll get you a rascal scooter. That's actually pretty fun. Yeah. That'd be really good for content. Oh, God. Uh, it's a ja- vice episode Jeff, right there. meet us at River <laughs> City. We're going to get Cameron a rascal scooter. I need you to hold the camera. Uh, Jeff, oh. I know you're out there, but I love you. Here's my thing. You have a thing? I think Mark McGuire's impact on the sport is a net positive. And I don't think Whoa. the steroid thing was all his fault. So I didn't see that coming from you. Um, just even. Just think about being a kid in St. Louis. Oh, it was the best. When that was happening. It was the coolest shit. I mean, he was like Jesus. I mean, in my childhood, like memorable things, it was that and 9 11. Not in order or anything, but those two uh, things. It wasn't were far like, off either, though. I mean, yeah. But, oh, yeah. And what was that, 96? Yeah. And then so, also in that same era, the Rams were here and they won a Super Bowl. Greatest show on turf, yeah. Yeah. And that was crazy. And we went to, had that parade downtown. It was what, third grade? And people for were us? just abandoning their cars and dancing in the streets. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I feel like the. David Bowie stuff. I thought about this the other day. The guy who was like the commissioner of the league at the time or whatever. Oh, I forgot his name. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? He's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Retired right into the Hall of Fame. And he definitely knew that stuff was happening. And nobody blames him for uh, any of how that compromised the sport or how it ruined people's legacies or whatever. And we act like we can't still idolize Mark McGuire or Lance Armstrong or somebody who's, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. like, um, it was legal the way they were doing it at the time they were doing it. So we didn't have the regulation or the awareness of yeah. the issue yet. Yeah. And, um, it's not something he introduced to the sport or could have figured out on his own anyway. Yeah. So I have to agree with you. Uh, I'm a huge MLB baseball fan. Um, and so the Mark McGuire thing, that pisses me off. Like, Barry Bonds? Yeah, probably the greatest hitter Barry of all time. fucking Bonds! I've always said that. One of the best hitters, probably the best, if it's not Ken Griffey or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or Pujols, or Pujols. Pooley. I mean, uh, in those names. But, um, yeah, McGuire, I mean, that's heartbreaking to know that there's a fat fucking asterisk next to that from a St. Louis fan. Um, I don't, but I, I agree. I think it and saved I, baseball. It really did. And I liked when he was the base coach, that whichever base for the World Series that time. And oh, so first, 
And yeah. they and it was before the the timer we have now, right? So there were these huge long shots oh, of everyone right. just standing around, and Mark McGuire's right behind the guy guarding the base or whatever that you call it, and First he's base pools. like just cucking them good, just just looking over his shoulder, like yeah, catch that ball. Oh, and nobody's yeah. even hit the ball yet. I loved it. They had a coach on every base. Yeah, no. So our coaches are on base for offense, like they're on their bases. So pools never. I misspoke there. Oh, good. Also teaching you when they're out there. Yeah, I don't even know what sport we're talking about. We're uh, using acronyms. Baseball. Mm-hmm. Baseball. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's that about? What? Baseball. Uh, it's got a bat and a ball on it. But baseball. why? It just happened. Like, you know, the cavemen finding the bones. It just happened. Is it more successful than other sports? I think it is the most. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm not sure. It has to be. Because there's revenue, and then there's salaries. You're talking in the United States. Yeah, of course. Oh, That's yeah. what I care about. You know how I feel about the English. Uh, most. I don't know anything about this. My thing is, I don't like basketball either. And football, don't even get me started. I don't even know what you're looking up. I have to trust I'm looking, the, I'm just I have to trust to the plan. I threw too much information at you. Huh. Okay, so the NFL made $14 billion last year. The Jesus! MLB, fuck! The MLB made $9.46 billion. Uh, what about? I'm trying to figure out when this was. Uh, this is 2022. NFL was 14. 14 billion. MLB was 9. Uh yeah, nine and a half. What about the NBL? NBA. <laughs> what about the BBLs? Uh, NBA earnings. Twenty twenty two, I guess it would I'm assuming this is gross revenue. Oh, it's doing it by player. I need to uh, <coughs> What about the CDL? Uh, Should I get one of those? I feel like I can't no, drive for a living. I do I not want to see you behind one of those. I because I can't sit that long. If that's it, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and you don't give me a vehicle that could kill a human. Yeah, that's all of them, most of them. Oh well, if they're walking, I mean, you're a big guy. But if I have, <laughs> but if I'm driving a semi, I could kill somebody that's inside of something, and that's not what many I want. of them. Yeah, yeah, things inside of things. entire groups of people inside of the like thing by accident. I may not even buildings. <laughs> if you, if it's a nice young couple in a smart car, I might not even know I hit them. Oh, they might just go pink. It might not even register. NBA? Looking it up. Just over 10 billion. That's a lot. That's more, more than, than baseball. Than so baseball is like out Third of the big place. three low. Yeah. Um, what about NHL? Oh, fuck me. Since dude. we're on it, <laughs> we might as well round uh, it out. I would say probably the lowest, actually. Do you think 1.6 billion? Call it three, four. You think three or four? Yeah, NHL. I don't want to go over. Twenty twenty two gross revenue. There's no point. I don't have a punchline for this. This is just what emerged. It started with "I'm pro McGuire." Five point seven billion. Oh wow! Okay. So all right, I see you, hockey. I see you. Uh, St. Louis police commander alleges he was passed over for promotion for police chief because he is white. What? This happened here. Really? I mean, leave it to St. Louis. Jesus. Yeah. Here's my thing. <sighs> Wouldn't you not want to, if you were, who makes that, who makes that decision? Did you ever have a dream? Did you ever have a dream that you wanted more than anything? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that's not the case. Maybe he screams about being white all the time, and maybe that's why he didn't get promoted. Hmm. Maybe it's not just that he's white, but maybe he's like this all the time. This energy that he's doing in this lawsuit 
where he's suing the city of St. Louis for not giving him a promotion because he's white. Maybe it's around the office. He's always like, I'm white. Yeah. I mean, there are people like that. Look that at me. I'll be damned. I'm white. And if he's like that all the time, I don't know that I would give him the promotion. What's really scaring me, and I've been thinking about this a lot, is if law enforcement continues to collapse, the Supreme Court is going to be put in a situation where they're going to want to federalize castle doctrine and stand your ground. Yeah, I mean, that's... They're going to make it the Old West. Because the people are going to demand that their taxes uh, defend them better. And it's the demand is not going to be met. And so if somebody starts a chain of lawsuits the right way, it could end up on the Supreme Court to say, listen, we need to uh, deputize law-abiding citizens to defend other law-abiding citizens. And as we can tell, the majority of the population... Isn't that called a militia? Well, that's... But that's what they're... That's probably what they'll use to justify... Yeah. The ruling. Because people that own property in Florida kind of like those laws that allow you to shoot people that are on your property in Florida. Yeah. So, and there's people, we know people in every county across this nation who like to maybe overindulge in their Second Amendment rights and would just love the opportunity to defend some stuff. Anything at all. That's all they want. They would love it. You just give them the chance. They have TV shows about it. They have TV shows about it. They have... We've talked about this on the show before. I don't know if I talked to you about this ever. There is... My grandfather was a dear, sweet man. But also, in especially in retirement, really got sucked up into some of this ideology that we're talking about. That's a vulnerable age, yeah. It's a vulnerable age. You're Very retired. You're, <laughs> if you're retired and you're armed to the teeth and you got, you know... You got cable. Um, oh man! It's pick your poison. I just, yeah, you said cable. It's the freaking and then dial so in for the every week. He had like a budget. He would set aside to order ammunition online. He was stockpiling ammunition. Wait, he had like a subscribe and save set up? No, not necessarily, because <laughs> he was always hunting for the best deals, because ammunition uh, is like so expensive. So the guys would do that at HTE. They'd oh, buy yeah. a pallet and then mm-hmm. split it all up. They'd split it up. Yeah. It's like buying a, if you go in and you buy a whole cow or something, or essentially, yeah. it's a lottery pool. It's like, guys, listen, Freedom Munitions has these reloaded 45s for blah, 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 and then everyone's like, I got fucking 300 It was bucks. ridiculous. They yeah. they got all the ammo in St. Louis out of that one, uh, what's the one way up by the failed mall? Uh, the Mills. The Mills. What's is that? Bass Pro Shop? No. Uh, the other, I forgot what the name is. I'm pretty stoned. Um, um, uh, Cabela's, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, he worked in the back, and so he could allocate it however he wanted. So they got, like, all of St. Louis's stock every time and cleaned them out. I'm like, that's what it takes to get ammo? You have to have a guy? Well, uh, and an inside they, guy? And there's even a company that made an ammunition called Jahog. Jahog. Which were Sounds hollow dirty. point um, rounds that were coated in a red paint. Yeah. That was infused with pig's blood. Oh my God! Why? Well, because they believed, and this is in the advertisement, that if you shot somebody who couldn't eat Jewish people, well, or if they were targeting Muslims, I think. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Fine with you? No. No. I just and mean like this would, like, of course, make sense. I said in the in the clip in the ad for these bullets that people were buying for real. Uh, so if you shoot somebody and they're a Muslim, they go straight to hell. That's what they believe. And Donald Trump believed that bleach could be ingested. So are and you that I surprised? still have yet to try the bleach on the inside. What if we do something with the sunlight on the inside? Oh. That would be painful. <laughs> I kind of... I don't know. There's Get pa- melanoma there's inside? There's parts of that energy that I miss. Because you can't even... Remember when he was on Twitter... Oh, yeah. It's X now, by the way. We forgot that earlier. Right. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> that um, Somebody's getting fired. Oh, I need to change my logo. I still have the Twitter logo. Oh, fuck. On my overlay. 
You can follow us on Twitter at Malachi Envy. Look at the integrity here. You're pulling. Are you calling yourself out? I like it. Well, yeah. I mean, it's X now, guys. It's officially called X now. So get it right. Um, XX official XX. I just feel like it's going to turn into though, where people are just going to be. I I got blocked in today i was leaving molly's house after listening to tyler record new bass tracks for hot new no antics songs and a car pulls up behind me and stops blocks me in the driveway Hmm. and he gets out and he's got a bag of food and he says sorry i'll be just a second but then he realizes it's the wrong house he says do you know if the numbers go up or down and i said they go up that way and he backs up to go that way (laughs) but i'm like you are an uber driver Uber, Uber Java. You're uh, you're an Uber Eats driver of color in a white neighborhood going up to the wrong house. If enough of these armed people are oh, living it's... in that situation, you know what I mean? And that guy was just trying to deliver food on a Sunday for a little extra money. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? There's people that want to live in a society where if, the, if a black Uber Eats driver goes to the wrong house, that they can shoot him. And I don't want them to shoot him. I wasn't yeah. happy that he blocked me in the driveway, but I didn't really want to shoot him. Jesus Christ, the gravity of what you are saying is so messed up. But yeah, it, it's... That's what I worry about. It is kind of messed up that we even have to entertain the idea that that's possible. Mm-hmm. Like that, it could be that easy for I people I wish to, we had an alternative that could incapacitate somebody as effectively as... Um, you know, a uh, a forty five caliber hollow point dipped in pig's blood, but maybe they'd wake up later and just like poop in their pants and be fine. It's just so disturbing that we had a civil war over this shit. No, we did, and do we that. have not got we have not gotten any further. We're still there, states and federal rights, and you oh, know. Yeah. And my thing is, buddy, what is Aleppo? What now? Do you remember when Gary Johnson was running for president? Which one? Gary Johnson. Oh, Gary Johnson. Yeah. Gary Johnson and um, Gary. Um he was doing an interview and this lady was like, "So, what would a libertarian president do about the crisis in Aleppo?" And he said, "Well, what is Aleppo?" No, no. You got me, Gary. Yep. So, um, you know, and I just think about that, and I raise that up. How many um, votes did he get? How many votes did Gary Johnson get? I know he got one for certain. I know a guy who was very into the GJ. He was ahead of his time. You know what I mean? You can't fault him for being ahead of his time. What? Yeah. Four and a half million at 3.3% of the vote. Four and a half million sounds higher than 3.3 million percent. No, 3.3% of the total vote. That's what I meant. 4.5 million sounds higher than 3.3%. It was 2016, so... Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, Yeah, that was a feisty one. I didn't realize. Oh, he didn't stand a chance. Uh, No. I mean, and it's... Well, hindsight's 2020. You know, a lot of Did he run in 2020? I don't recall. I, he never made it to. If he did, I don't think he was actually the nominee. Who was the girl from Hewitt Packard that ran for president? Carly? I don't know. I want Marianne Williamson up in there. <laughs> I want her checking the moon every morning. Uh, double full moon this month. That's why things have been so crazy. It's a transformational time. We talked about this on the Patreon, I think, in one of our exclusive clips. We've dropped exclusive clips every day this week. They're going through Monday. And uh, Joe Jorgensen. Joe Jorgensen. Who is that? Was the uh, Libertarian nominee. Uh, nominee. Um, got one point. Well, about two million at 1.2%. Is, has that shit kicked up yet for the next one? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, just the fact that Trump is being indicted and then is still the favorite. Do you think he'd be getting indicted if he wasn't running again? Well, 
I mean, the probably not because they're trying to get it done so quickly, so that he can't run again. Yeah, is I there mean, a rea- probably- is there a reality where he's convicted of something and can still run? Can felons run? Joe Exotic I, ran for governor. I don't think it matters until you're charged. I don't know that there's a stipulation that says if you're indicted for or whatever unlawful this accusations. This would be a great reason for you to drop us a text at 314-626-4208. Um, Learn us. Alfred Ludwig is due to come back on the show soon. We keep talking about it. I have a very specific time window from him that I'm supposed to see him. And um, he would know a little bit more about this because he's uh, a very passionate guy. He's also more the age where they care about this stuff. He's... Uh, 40 something and those guys are much more invested in this whole game than i am they have much more of a dog in that fight which apparently is a thing i'm not supposed to say anymore oh well because i'm not pro dog fighting well of course not i don't want to see dogs fight yeah it takes a really shitty person for that for what for, oh like michael yeah. vick yeah i think some people grow up in that aunt pat and people have forgiven him too that aunt pat miss pat was saying she had a dog that would fight other dogs for candy uh that's like low-key dog fighting yeah <laughs> but she loved that dog and they'd share the candy do dogs even like candy no they're not supposed to have candy i don't think so either that's how you give a dog diabetes well and it can't be good for its teeth I mean, yeah, it's not good for us either. It's very much the same issues, I would assume. Probably even worse because they are so sensitive to things like that. Um, oh. Yeah, there was... Yeah. What are you looking yeah. at? I just, it's just so hard out here in these streets. Guys, there's so much to tune into. There's a full length LP from No Antics that premiered on July 8th at the uh, Off Broadway. Um, that full show is on my Patreon.com slash Jacob V. You have access to demos, exclusive clips, live sets from any time that the Patreon has been active, which I believe is two years now. And, uh, in that time lots and lots of content there and just your four dollars for one month gets you access to all of it so if you missed any of that also blinded by stereo.bandcamp.com is the only place to get my only full-length vinyl lp out there on the marketplace tape um i'm with cameron at the bluewood brewing every thursday for trivia that has been a really positive thing for me that's been great i mean there's a reason we reached out and i I mean it's our biggest crowd of the week for sure i was also on unemployment at the time that we started it so i really felt like you guys were doing me a favor oh i yeah we feel the same well but now i feel like i'm doing you a favor I mean, you were, yeah, the whole time. It's a mutual favor. I guess that's why it's an exchange of a service. It's almost like society, man. Yeah. It's almost like... (laughs) It's working! (laughs) It's almost like that's the way the world works. Um, Let's just leave it at that simple. Like, you just help me, I'll help you. uh, Yeah, you do the thing. (laughs) We're fucking it up right now. (laughs) No, I think think it makes... I don't think we should overthink it. It works the way it happens uh, every Thursday. Um, Sometimes you'll see... uh, Yes, baby brother in there. Um, guys, Caddyshack of New Hamilton, Illinois, jacobv.com, patreon.com slash jacobv, no antics, blinded by stereo. New music from Jacob V and the Yes Men is in the can, and I'm just, I'm having it mixed and mastered. It'll be out soon. Uh, executive producer Neil Wolf is still coming on the show. Uh, shout out to executive producer Doreen Priestley. Uh, if you want to pay more than $4 a month on the Patreon, you're an executive producer now. Times are tight. Uh, we love you. Bluewood Brewing. Are you guys doing any events coming up? Oh, yeah. And since we're all about the animals here, uh, next week, uh, the 26th, uh, was that Saturday, we have our uh, Care SDL event called Awtoberfest. Uh-huh. Like, aw. Oh, I saw that. that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll release our uh, yeah. Oktoberfest for the year, and uh, we partner with Care STL, and uh, some of the proceeds go to that. So Perfect. Yeah. Bluewood Brewing, JacobV.com. We love you. Be safe. Thank you.
I'm going to do this nonchalantly. 